Hey lovelies, I'm Mariah. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do something a little bit different. I want to start talking a little bit more on my channel about the hair care that I do and different techniques that I use to do my hair. So today is going to be the first of one of those videos and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about hairstyling tools or hot tools because I feel like not a lot of people talk about these. Some reviews are out there but I just wanted to give you guys some affordable options of really really good hot tools to use on your hair that are going to do the job and not break your bank at the same time. So let's go ahead and jump right into it and I'll let you guys know some of the ones that I have that I've loved and not liked so much and just give you guys an idea of some of the things that I like when I'm doing my hair. I just want to go ahead and say that I don't know all of the names of these hairstyling tools. A lot of them are very old so the writing is a little bit rubbed off but I'm going to try my best to let you guys know where I got them or at least an area where you might be able to find them and around what price point. But some of them I don't even know if they sell anymore. I just wanted to go ahead and go over some different things with you and different types of styling tools and let you guys know what they do with your hair and how I found them to be helpful or not. I'm not going to go over every single hair styling tool that I have because we'd be here for quite a while for everything that I've accumulated. There's only a few certain ones that I use a lot on a daily basis or regular basis. So I'm just going to go over some of my old and new favorites and then just show you a couple different types of styling tools just to give you guys an idea. So the first one is my old Trident true Conair. I'm not exactly sure what they call this thing. I want to say it's something to do with infinity. But I bought this in middle school first and it was a black one and I was obsessed with it because you could not go wrong and a lot of my friends said that they couldn't figure out how to use this but everyone was like how do you have such awesome curls that last all day and this is a spiral curling iron so it looks intimidating but I promise you it's not that hard to use. Basically on the very front there's this little button that lifts up a clamp that's where you would put the edge of your hair in and then you just twist it all the way up the spirals until you get to the top and then once you're done rolling it all the way to the top there's a button on the back here when you pull it these black spirals go up just to push the hair up even more and give them a nice tight spiral curl and I would hold it on there for about 30 seconds this one does have an on off button a turbo which I always use because I'm impatient and didn't want to wait for it to heat up and then it has a setting on the edge for heat which I always turned all the way up because once again I'm an impatient person and I need to work on that. I stopped using this one in high school because all of the curls go in the same direction around the spiral so I like to have my hair when I'm curling it flip out from my face but I found that when I use this they all flip this way so on this side it would flip out but then once you got here your curls were facing towards your face and I didn't really like that. Also with spiral curling you're going to get the exact same type and size of curls so they're going to bunch together a lot more often and that was something that started to drive me crazy but I would say for beginners this is a really awesome tool because it helps you learn to curl your hair and gives you kind of that guidance and provides a really nice curl and these lasted for days. I literally could curl my hair and I think two or three days it last perfectly spiral curled. Now I'm a little bit older and I like a looser curl anyways, but for someone younger I definitely recommend this. My black one actually broke and I remember I had to duct tape it together and then finally the spring fell out so there was no hope left. And I searched everywhere which I first bought it at Walmart and I couldn't find it anywhere. And then one day I was looking online and I saw this one, the pink one, and it was on sale for $12.88. Isn't that weird that Walmart always has their prices 88 cents at the end? Just a side note but I think that's so weird. Anyways, 1288 is super affordable for a curling iron that works and holds your curls for a really long time. So for my younger viewers or just my viewers that don't really know how to start with curling your hair and you want something nice and easy, this is the trick. Super cheap and affordable. The next styling tool is one that I don't really use that often anymore because I feel like I would get too crisp of a look. Although I think that now I'm more aware of how to do my hair and I might give it another try and just see what I can get with it. And that is a triple barrel. And I really liked these things when I was younger, but I was one of those girls who would take a strand, hairspray it, triple barrel it, and then hairspray it again. So I'd have that super stiff, crinkled look in my hair and it was not a good look, trust me. But if you use this thing the right way, you can get really, really pretty waves. My advice with this is not to hold it on too long because that's when it could look really crisp and that's not a natural look. But just taking it, I guess I should probably unravel it to show you guys first. Another quick tip with hair styling tools, do not wrap them around this way if you can avoid it. This one is old and it's been sitting there like that for a while now. But with all of my new styling tools, I make sure just to take them and go like this as I'm wrapping them. Kind of like how they came in the first place and then put it all together like this. Because when you're wrapping them around this way, this is the result that you get. You get a twisted up cord that eventually will short out or not work anymore. And I know it's really hard and it can get messy if you don't do it that way. But it's just a little tip for you. 
So the triple barrels are really awesome. This one just has a high and a low switch and it is the Golden Hot Ceramics triple barrel. I think this one was really affordable too. I'd say probably less than $30. And once again, the spring is broke on this one, but I still really like it. And normally you would just take the spring and then put your hair in the middle of the two barrels and then close it together and it makes sort of like a wave. It'll do in, out, in, out. I'm gonna try and give this another go now that I'm more aware of how to take care of my hair and how to style it. But with this one, by the way, if the spring breaks on any of yours like this, it's still doable. I just would clamp it in there and then I would push the opposite way so that it wouldn't open up. So it's not a really big deal, but this was a really great triple barrel for you to use just in case you're looking for one. All right, next I'll go ahead and move on to hair straighteners. The one that I used for the longest time was the Wet to Straight. I'm not sure if that was a Conair or a Revlon. It was one of those affordable brands from Walmart that was about $25. And I loved it in middle school because you could literally take your wet hair, turn it on a super high setting, and then straighten your hair while it's wet. Oh my gosh, I can't even imagine how much damage I did to my hair doing that, and it kind of makes me cringe a little bit now. But once again, I was impatient and it was a really fast way to straighten my hair. That straightener actually really did do a good job with straightening, and I would use it even with my hair dry, and I do recommend using it that way because it was a good straightener. I don't have it anymore because it shorted out on me and I've found other things since. So I'll go ahead and move on from there. Then I bought this one from Myers, and it's just a really skinny hair straightener. And I like this one mainly for my bangs. So I have side sweat bangs, and they are also extremely flat to my face. I wasn't blessed with voluminous hair. So I like to use a skinny straightener like this just to take on my bangs and give them a nice curl so that I can spray them and give them a little bit more volume than I'm naturally blessed with. And this is really good for that. This straightener was and is a really good straightener. And the brand of this one is Remington. So I think this was another one that ran around $20 give or take. It's affordable and it's really nice to use and does the job perfectly fine. Now although I really like that one for my bangs, it is so skinny that when I did my entire hair with it, it would take a really long time. But of course with a little skinny plate like that, you're not going to get a lot of hair at the same time. So I also bought this a while back and it is the Conair Infinity Pro. And I actually really like this one. I'm not for sure, but I remember looking these up and when I was researching which cheap affordable hair straightener to get, I was looking for one with the tourmaline plates. So I think this one does have something like that. And basically you wanna look at the type of plates you are getting because the tourmaline ones are kind of like a heat protectant and it's not gonna make your hair really dried out. So that's something I would look for if you're looking for an affordable or an expensive hair straightener because it's really important. This one has an on off button, button? This one has an on off button and it up and down to adjust the temperature. It's really nice to have the option to adjust your temperature because depending on the dryness of your hair or even between hair extensions and your regular hair, you might need a different setting because I know hair extensions, you need to put it at a low setting whereas some people's hair is a little bit more thicker and it needs a higher setting. So if you're shopping around, I would definitely pay attention on if it has a heat adjustable setting as well as what type of plates the straightener has because it makes a big deal. And the same thing goes with curling irons and wands too. It does depend on what it's made out of and the finish of it because it can protect or harm your hair depending on what it's made from. So just do a little bit of research. It's really easy to understand if you just type it in Google. That's what I did and I found all of my answers. So the past two straighteners that I showed were my go-tos for the longest time. So I used the skinny one for my bangs and then I used the thicker one for the rest of my hair to get the job done a little bit quicker. And recently I purchased the Numi straightener and I bought this because I've seen a lot of rave about it and it was also on sale. Not to mention this thing has an incredibly long cord. Like I can literally go from one side of my room to the other and then some, maybe even out in the hallway a little bit. That's amazing because all of my other cords are extremely short and I can't tell you how many times I've been trying to do something else while doing my hair. Not a smart idea by the way. But it happens and you yank it out of the wall or you pull on your hair or you burn yourself on the face. That happened to me on homecoming. I think, what was that? My sophomore year homecoming. No, 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 junior. My junior year of homecoming, I burnt myself right across the face right here. And at first I was like, oh my God, these pictures are gonna look awful with a big burn right across my face. And then because I was young and naive, I thought, you know what, I kind of want this thing to scar because I'd look really cool if I had a scar across my face. And I thank you Jesus for not putting that scar across my face because I was a crazy person and didn't know what I wanted back in my junior year of high school. Should have been smart enough, but I wasn't. Anyways, that was a side note, that was a rant, sorry. Moving on, I now invested in this new me basically because of the hype and I wanted to see what it was all about. And I do really like it. This has an infrared technology, which I think is supposed to like add moisture into your hair when you're straightening it. Also, these come in pink, blue, 
and black. I've seen people with purple ones, but when I went to order, it didn't give me the option. That's okay, because I like pink better anyways, but I think that's really cute. And I just think these look so sleek and like fancy. Everybody wants to feel fancy, I guess, but this one also has a power and then a temperature setting up and down, which is really nice. One thing I was really impressed with with this Numi straightener was how fast it heated up. It was literally like less than 10 seconds and it was all the way heated up to the highest setting. That's impressive and you can see it just climbing here too. The numbers will just jump and you're like, oh, that's crazy, but hey, I like it. So this one is awesome. I do really like it, but I can say that I do get a little bit of tug from these plates. So especially with my extensions, sometimes I notice it tugging and pulling on the hair, which isn't a good thing. You want your plates to be able to slide through the hair very smoothly and not snag or tug on them. I'm not exactly sure if it's happening on the edges or what, but that's just one downfall and the only downfall that I see with this. It does straighten very well. It heats up super hot and you get the job done quickly. But if you're careful, you'll be perfectly fine with this one because it is a great straightener and they always have sales at Numi. So keep your eye out for one of their codes and you can get this at a really cheap price. I want to say I paid about 50 or 60 bucks with a coupon code for this and it's a great deal. All right, moving on to curling wands. This next one, I actually saw someone else using one time when they were getting ready. Shout out Kayla, love you. And I remember watching her curl her hair with this wand and thinking, oh my gosh, those curls are perfect. Like they were so thick at the top, they got really skinny at the bottom and they held so long. So of course I had to go ahead and try it myself and see what this was all about. And it really does work that good on everybody's hair that I've used it on. And it is the Hot Tools wand. I think this one is an inch and a quarter and then it tapers down. I wanna say to about three fourths inch, but I'll put the details down below once I look it up and do some research. I did buy the one that was the special pink glitter because I thought it was too cute to pass up. And it did come with a little bag too to take with you if it is hot so that was awesome too and that came free from Sally's I want to say this one was around $37 at Sally's when I bought it so check that out I do know that they sell the same thing at Ulta because I purchased one for someone on Christmas time and it was black here and white on the handle so it's the exact same thing if you see it around. This thing is amazing. And every single time you see my hair curled in any of my videos, it's this thing because you can get really big curls if you focus your curls at this end. You can get really tiny curls or you can get ones that start big and taper off small at the ends. I really love the versatility of this wand and these curls last so long. And the cord on this one is also really, really, really long. So another pro. I would probably say this is by far my favorite hot tool altogether for hairstyling. So it is really that good and it's not even that expensive and it's adorable so you really can't beat it it does not damage my hair whatsoever so this one has an on off switch as well as a temperature adjustment all the way from 280 degrees to 450 degrees Fahrenheit and I still haven't learned to be patient so I always put it on 450 but it does it very very fast you only have to hold your curls on for 10 seconds or less and they're gonna last all day long no doubt about it so this is my number one favorite if you get anything from this video definitely get this one it's amazing and I love it it's like my little baby and if it breaks I'm gonna die and have to go get a new one okay so along with the new me hype I also purchased a new me curling wand and this one I got on sale I think when they had all of their wands on sale for $21.99 don't quote me on that but I know it was the low 20s like 21 to 25 dollars I think these are originally like 70 to 80 dollars so when I saw this on sale for 20 something dollars I thought I had to buy it right then and there because that's an amazing sale and how can you pass it up companies always get me like that every time I get those emails like one day only I'm like oh my gosh I gotta hurry or everybody's gonna buy it out but no that's just a marketing tool they use for crazy people like me that are shopaholics anyways another rant but I went ahead and bought this curling wand and this one is the medium size it is the new me magic curling wand in 25 millimeters I didn't want to do the 19 because I thought that would be a little bit too small in comparison to the ones I already have. I wanted something for a little bit of a bigger curl, but I also didn't want to go really big and get too big of a curl that's just going to fall loose. This material doesn't damage my hair at all, so I really love that about it. It also has a heat adjustment, which is, like I said, something I always pay attention to because you never know how hot it's going to get and how hot you might need it to be. So this one was really great. I still don't think it performs as well as my Hot Tools one, and I'm not really sure why. They both curl really well at first, but this one just falls out a little bit quicker than my Hot Tools, so that one definitely takes the cake. But this is a really great buy, and if you can get it for $20 or whatever they run it for on sale, definitely do it because it's a great, great product. I'm not really sure why I bought it in blue, though. I love pink. I think when I was buying this one, I thought about how I already bought the straightener in pink, so I figured I'd go with blue so they were different and I could 
distinguish between the two when I was going to pick them out of my drawer, which makes no sense because they're different tools, but you know, that's how my crazy mind works, and that's what I did. Oh well. Okay, camera died for a second, but we're back and we're good to go. On to the big boy is my Bellamy 6-in-1 Complete Curler Set. And I bought this probably a year or two ago, maybe even longer. Zach got this for me for Christmas one year. And I really love this, but now I think they have a total different one. Maybe it's even a 12-in-1, but it's a lot bigger of a set. But it's the same concept and very similar. This one is the red handle, and then it has six different curling wands that you attach to the top. So this is what the wand looks like. It does have two settings, one and two, so you can set it higher or lower depending on what setting you need. This does get extremely hot. I believe it gets over 400 degrees, and it burns you so bad because I've done it twice on my arm. So be really careful. I'll go ahead and show you all the different wands that it comes with, but at the very top it does show you everything. So it comes with the glove. And then the smallest wand that it comes with starts at nine millimeters and tapers to 18 millimeters at the end. So this is gonna give you extremely tight Taylor Swift like curls. Okay, so to connect the wand to the handle, there are two prongs here and two buttons. You just press the buttons which pushes the prongs in and then you line up the holes inside your wand as well and it just snaps right into place. So once you hear it click, that means you're good to go. And if you need to change it out or take it off at the end when you're finished, you push the two buttons in again and then wiggle it off just a little bit. Just be really careful with that, that you're not pulling too hard because you could break the prongs off if they're not pushed in all the way. The next wand in the set here is the pearl wand and this one is just basically gonna give you those beachy looks. So it's gonna go from really big waves to very small to really big to really small and it'll give you kind of that messy look if that's what you wanna go for. The next one here is the 19 millimeter to 19 millimeter. The next one is the 19 millimeter to 19 millimeter. So it's exactly the same from top to bottom. You're just gonna get a very consistent curl. After that is the 25 millimeter to 18 millimeter. So this one also tapers off. This is the one that I've used most from this set and it looks really pretty and it's actually a lot like the curl from my Hot Tools one that tapers off. It just doesn't last quite as long. After that, we have one that is consistent 25 millimeters all the way from top to bottom. And this one is just like my Numi one, the blue one. And actually, I feel like the Bellamy and the Numi one perform very similar. They both heat up very quick. They both give really nice curls that last a while. It's just that neither one of those can really hold up to the curl and the long lasting power from my Hot Tools curling iron. So they're kind of held at a high standard from those, but these by far are not bad curling irons. They're really great. And the fact that you get all of these together is really awesome. I believe when I got this set, there was a coupon code, but it was somewhere around $200, which is a lot when you think about it, but it's actually six different curling ones. It's kind of like pricing each one at a little over $30, which isn't too bad, and you do have the versatile range here. I'm not sure of the price for the new one, but I'm sure that they have improved the quality even more, and it's even better if you order it now versus when I did years ago, because as with time, everything gets a little better, just like wine. Well, not every Everything gets better but most things especially with companies when they're working hard to keep their products nice and good quality the last one that this set comes with is the 32 to 32 millimeter so this one is going to give you very big loose curls I have used this one before and I really did like the curls that it had it's just kind of like a wavy look without looking too put together and the last thing that this set came with was a heat protectant glove and I just keep that with all of my other hot tools but it does work really well to protect your hand from that really high heat I just was curling somebody else's hair for homecoming and as I was, I touched the very end of the wand onto my arm and it burnt and scarred pretty bad for quite a while. So it went away now, thank goodness I don't have any more scars, but it is very hot so be careful if you do decide to buy this, that temperature is no joke. The last two items aren't really hair styling tools, but they have to do with them, so I wanted to mention them. With my Numi hair straightener, I decided to get the Numi little bag here and it's really cool because it actually turns into a mat. So it looks like this and it will protect any surface from the heat from your hair straightener or your curling wand. And I thought that was neat to set out no matter where I go. And then once you're finished with your tool, you just put it in the center and then Velcro it back together to have like a little nice carrying case that isn't gonna burn your bag or whatever you need to place your tool in to go back home or wherever you're going. And the very last thing that I want to mention is the hot iron holster. And I know a lot of people have heard about these, but I did not hear about it until about a year ago. And I purchased this from Ulta, I think when I had my 20% off everything coupon, so I got it on a little bit of a sale. But this thing is really cool. It's really tacky on the shiny side, so basically it sticks to a tabletop surface, and I put it like this on the very edge of my table. 
so it kind of hangs off there and then it has this top part which is going to protect your dresser or whatever you have it on from the heat and then if you wanted to you can put it in the holster also with it hot this is going to give it a place to store it while it's hot and not damage any of your items around it so this is awesome I think it goes for about 20 bucks not on sale but pay attention to that 20% off anything coupon and you can get it from Ulta too just like I did on sale that is it for all my hairstyling tools if you have any questions about those as usual just comment down below and I'll be sure to answer your questions like I said, I'm not sure if all of these are things you can still get, but I wanted to go over some of the things that I've used in the past and currently that I really love or that have worked for me. I wanted to give you a variety of things from a spiral curler, a triple barrel, a straightener, a wand, all different options so you have some ideas of what I've tried and what worked well for me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so that you can be notified when I post a new video. Bye guys, see you next time.